Android boxes are really getting popular year after year as they provide the cheapest way of converting an ordinary TV into a smart TV. For a few dollars, this device can transform your home into something magical. By simply connecting this device to the internet, you now have the power to connect to almost everything in the World Wide Web to satisfy your media consumption. But what if you have that old PC monitor just lying around the corner and collecting dust? Is there any possibility to connect an Android box to this piece of hardware and make it smart? How about the audio or sound? Is there a way to output it somewhere? The answer is yes. In this video, I will teach you all the different methods to achieve this. I will also list down all the various adapters and accessories required to make this work. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! The procedure I'm about to show you will be focused on any Android device such as an Android box that has an HDMI port. For this particular demonstration, I will be using an MXQ Pro 4K 5G Android box, which I will try to connect to any computer monitor in a variety of ways. We have at least four known display ports on a PC monitor. The first one is the VGA, the second one is the DVI, the third one is the DP, and last but not the least, we have the HDMI port. Please take note that there are multiple ways to connect your device to a PC monitor, and covering them all will make this video very long and could possibly bore you to death. This is why this tutorial will be divided into separate videos covering each one of them. The first part, which is obviously this video, will be only covering the VGA port. Let's start off with the VGA monitors. To give you a brief history, VGA stands for Video Graphics Array. It is also commonly known as the D sub port. It was introduced in 1987 and is considered as an old school tech today as it can only transfer analog signals. This is the most common port you can find on old PC monitors and in some new monitors. This is how the VGA port and its cable look like up close. In order to connect an Android box to this type of monitor, I will be needing a specific type of accessory called the HDMI to VGA adapter. This little device here will be responsible in converting the digital signal to analog. I really recommend this type of adapter for its simplicity and ease of usage. It even comes with a free male to male 3.5mm auxiliary cable. I have provided the link down in the video description where you can buy this. I will be splitting this method into two categories according to the type of VGA monitor that you have. There will be a wiring diagram to be presented in each case for you to better understand the procedure. The first type is a VGA monitor without built-in speakers. This is an example of this type of monitor where there are only a VGA and a power port. The only way to get the sound working is by using an external speaker. It can be an old traditional speaker which is powered by AC or a modern type which uses USB power. To connect the Android box to a VGA monitor, simply plug the HDMI to VGA adapter into the VGA port of the monitor. Now, get your HDMI cable and plug its one end into the HDMI port of the adapter. And connect the other end to the HDMI port of the Android box. We can now see in here that we have successfully output the display to the monitor and the only problem is that we don't have any sound output. Let's connect an external speaker. 
If you are using an AC powered speaker, simply plug the 3.5mm jack of the speaker into the 3.5mm port of the VGA to HDMI adapter. After which you can now plug the power cord of the speaker into a power outlet. This is how our overall setup now looks like. And here it is. I can verify that we have a working audio output coming from the AC powered speakers. 575 BCE. Work on his eternal resting place began. For the case of a USB powered speaker, just like this one, simply plug the 3.5mm jack of the speaker into the 3.5mm port of the VGA to HDMI adapter. And then you can just use an ordinary USB charger to power up the speaker. And there you go! Now we have a working audio output coming from the USB speakers. As soon as Pharaoh Khufu ascended the throne circa 2575 BCE, work on his eternal resting place began. If your Android box has an extra USB port that you won't be using, just like in the case of the MXQ Pro 4K 5G, you may now ditch the USB charger and instead just plug the USB cable of the speaker into the spare USB port of your Android box. In this way, you will now have a minimalist look with this setup. And same with the previous tests, I can confirm that we indeed have a working sound. USB speakers are really handy, and they cost almost to nothing. In fact, I have bought another set of USB speakers which I bought for 129 Philippine pesos or roughly $2. Who in the world cannot afford that, right? Let's proceed to the second type of VGA monitor, and these are the ones that have built-in speakers. I have here with me a sample of this type of monitor. This one has a VGA port, a power port, and an audio in port. The audio in port is used to transfer the sound to these tiny speakers located at the back of the monitor. If you have this type of monitor, then great! You are very lucky indeed, as the procedure to connect your Android box to this type of monitors is pretty neat and straightforward. For the display output, all you have to do is again connect the HDMI to VGA adapter to the VGA port of the monitor. Plug the other end of the HDMI cable to the HDMI port of the HDMI to VGA adapter. And the other end to your Android box. Now that we have the display out working, it's time to connect the audio. Simply use the male to male 3.5mm auxiliary cable and plug its one end into the 3.5mm audio port of the HDMI to VGA adapter. And plug the other end into the 3.5mm audio in port of the VGA monitor. You can now adjust the volume using your monitor built-in menu option. Once finished, then we're all done! This is the type of setup I am using with my retro gaming rig because of its minimalistic look. There's no need for external speakers and additional power cables. Well, that's it! Pretty neat and simple, right? Oh, by the way, before I end this video, there's also one more HDMI to VGA adapter that you can choose as an alternative. This is also widely available in the online market. A link to this product is provided in the video description. I have used this in the past and has served me very well. If you plan on using this, here is the wiring diagram on how to set up the display and audio when connecting your Android box to a VGA monitor. This adapter has worked fine with me, and the only downside in using this is the need for an additional VGA cable. However, should you have one lying around, then that won't be a problem anymore. 
Here are some of the issues that you may encounter when connecting your Android box to your VGA monitor. The first and most common issues encountered when connecting a device to a PC monitor via the VGA port is that the display output is not recognized by the monitor or the video output is displayed incorrectly on the monitor. One of the main causes of this problem is video resolution mismatch between the Android device and the monitor. In order to solve this, you have to determine first the native resolution of the PC monitor. That can be easily done by looking at the technical specifications of the monitor. Let's take my monitor as an example. By simply looking at the back side of the monitor, I can now get its model number and check its native resolution via the internet. And after a bit of research about this particular model of my monitor, I can now confirm with this document which I have downloaded from the internet that its native resolution is set at 1280x720 at 60Hz or simply 720p at 60Hz. All you have to do now is connect your other device to any television or monitor where it has previously worked. Most of the time, Android devices will successfully connect to a TV or monitor that has a native resolution of 920 by 1080 pixels or commonly known as 1080p, as this is the most common resolution. Once successfully connected, you can now navigate to your Android box settings. Click Display, click HDMI, click Resolution and select the right resolution that corresponds to the native resolution of the monitor you would like to connect to. Well, in my case, I will set it at 720p at 60Hz to match my AOC 716SW VGA monitor. Save the modified display settings by clicking OK. Once everything is all set, turn off the Android box and you may now reconnect to your PC monitor. And there you go! We now have a working display output on our VGA monitor. Another issue that may be encountered by users is that there is no sound coming from the speakers. Or if it does, it is somewhat gibberish. This happens because the contact points of the auxiliary cable do not come into full contact to the 3.5mm port of the HDMI to VGA adapter or the speaker. One way to solve this is by slowly inserting the 3.5mm auxiliary plug to the 3.5mm port of the adapter or the speaker until you can hear a clear sound coming from both left and right speakers. This is done by trial and error so be patient in doing so. And lastly, I find my HDMI to VGA adapter a bit flimsy. And there are times that its protective cover just snaps off and it gets twisted whenever I am inserting an HDMI cable. This reveals its electronic components which makes it prone to damage. Well, my practical solution for this is just a simple cable tie. Just put a cable tie around it and tighten the cable tie. And the problem is solved! So that's about it. Now that you have learned how to connect a PC monitor, it's now time to recycle those old VGA monitors that are just lying around the corner. With the method I've shown you, old monitors will now be put into good use instead of them ending up in the landfills, and thus saving the environment. All diagrams that I have created and presented in this video can be downloaded in the link provided in the video description for free. Alright, that's it for now. Hanggang sa muli mga kafrugal. This is Lawrence and have a good day.